Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fable Him and Spellforce Conquest of Ao. The Supreme Necromancer has set his sights on the ultimate victory conditions, and we are making a lot faster progress than I expected. Of course, the ones we are aiming for. A hero to fly my colors, Brave Litra, is on her way to level 15. Master of Magic, kind of. We began grabbing a whole bunch of new spell pages, but of course the research to get through all that is something still to be acquired. We are researching teleportation, which takes a thousand research, so it's going to take a while, but that will allow us to hop across the map quite more effectively than we are presently. A friend of the people, revered by seven cities, not going to happen. Currently we are lights by Bastion, and cities are way more important than I initially thought they would be. So we will be visiting cities, saying hello, helping them if we can to get stuff. One such thing that we did get recently from helping a city was the Might Amplifier, which we are currently constructing in the tower. So we'll see what else we can find. To have five landmarks within our domain, we're actually making great progress on this, and we discovered quite a lot about this. We learned a lot about this, so this might be possible. Have five apprentices. We're on the way. We need to get to 100 mastery to have the fifth apprentice, and... To destroy all circle mages, which is, of course, the ultimate goal. And in pursuit of that goal, look who we have found. Probably. I can't actually tell. I don't think this is the real tower, but it's it's closer. It's more of a hint to his domain. Our little workers here have located Wraith of the Black, the hiding sod. So I'm thinking we go and say hello. We might even... I wish I had someone else over here. Because Jones is plopped down on top of this landmark, the Silver Drift Mine. So what do we want to do with you? I'm not sure. Mort is hanging out. Having a good time. He's going to continue to befriend Orgash and screw with Iria. Because honestly, there's really nothing that brings me more pleasure than messing around with Iria. See? What did I tell you? Oh no. We might suffer losses. Well, we can't have that, can we? I probably need to just push eight on this stack, to be honest. They haven't been healing in ages. Healing, plague bear. Ah. There you go. The Mort Haunted Armor Bodyguard Show has begun once again. Welcome, everyone. I hope you enjoy the show. Submit your tickets now. Oh, he's going to go all the way around. Okay. Yes, good. Now, this haunted armor is level 15, which means it has reached the level cap. And as you can see, it's something of a monstrosity. It has infinite retaliations. 50% physical damage reduction, courtesy of Mort. All of the stats in the world... What's even his second? Oh yeah, he has life stealing against mortals. That's a second cliff. And of course, now he's undying. Because dying is for scrubs. You know? Not un- Okay, that's incorrect. He's not undying. He defies death. There is a difference. Because you see, these guys are undying. If they fall over, they'll get back up in three turns. And if you win, they're just back. Defying death means that if you win the victory, the guy comes back at one hit point. Which is not quite as good as Undying, but you know, it's the same purpose. I'd chase him down with someone else if I felt like it'd be faster, but I really don't think it would be. The one-man army. Ah. Is it even a man? I like to think of the Haunted Armor as the... Eh. As the Erratus variation. Erratus, of course, the Death Knight. Where is this again? There it is. It's come back to me. The Death Knight in Erratus is basically a giant void inside of... A set of armor. I like to think of that. That's what brings me the most joy. Now, this is another location. We are slowly befriending it. I'd like to get revered here, but 
I don't know where their inn is. They might not even have one. So, instead, Jonath is going to meander towards the Shaper Ruin. Which is, of course, where our tower is going as well. If there wasn't someone incredibly rude in the way. That's right. I remember. Did you remember? Looky who's here. The Trent has arrived. And of course, Litra, being Litra, can't swim. So we're going to have to delay the whole shape or secret thing, I think. I guess I could wait. I can wait one turn. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's wait a turn. All right, Jonath. What's in here? You have half health, but it'll be fine. You uncover a ruin of the long-vanished Shaper civilization. Your initial excitement is quickly dampened. There is barely even rubble left. You cannot even begin to imagine what immense power must have been necessary to so completely annihilate such a place. There is a heavy pressure in the air. You have not yet reached what must have been a courtyard when the ground shifts and buckles beneath you. From nowhere, an army appears. Guards, you suspect, of whatever this building once was. I can auto it easy peasy. Having dealt with the threat at hand, you find an orb lodged to some of the bodies. This is what we got last time as well. Well. So we have four death, one earth master, one mentalism, and double nature. Interesting. <laughs> Truly curious. All right. I guess we'll leave the tower here for a turn. You know, just to get all this bonuses. A heroic victory. Well, don't mind if I do. We're kind of at the point where I'm, you know, able to auto stuff pretty handily. So there's going to be a lot more autoing. Since it can be done, it must be done. Something like that, right? That's how that saying goes. Our new Reaper is pretty slow, so pick up the pace. Two focus or ten hit points. Now, right... Ooh, you already have ten focus. Yeah, take the hit points, sure. I'm sorry, what? What? Unit has an additional free attack. Is that in all circumstances, like both melee and ranged? Because if so, fuck yes. Honestly, it's probably just good no matter what. We have reached level 15 on this undead mage. Our choices are Raise Dead or Eerie Overlord. Now, with a Lich in our army, Raise Dead uh, is not necessary. <laughs> and we already have Undead Healer. So, Eerie Overlord. Wow, that's a good un Undead Mage. The Undead Mage, proving that even Tier 2 units can be amazing. I like how I killed them, but I didn't explore the mine. Good job, Litra. Why are you the way that you are? Now, our friend here is heading this direction. Oh. Beautiful. You are finally proving your worth, whatever your name is. Zarathar. Proud of you. Proud of you. Right, you're joining Zarathar. And Throm Bristlebeard is over here. He found an academy. Throm placed down his lodge right here because I was like, ooh, looky, resources. The lodge went down. And then I found out this is a meldable landmark. So if I can find more godstones, that is an easy landmark acquisition for me. You know? Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> so here's an academy. An Academy of Warding. Does this mean this is enchantment or arcane or whatever that would be? That'd be pretty neat. We do not have a wraith in this army, and I'm currently not doing fear stuff, so... Just let that slide. Hello! Okay, we're gonna fight this because I want to delete the Draugr Giant. I have killed many a giant, so I want to prove that it's not just me. That the AI, too, can murder everything. Get everything killed. I also think there's a bug. Don't quote me on this. 
I think... It's not really a bug, it's an inconvenience. So when you end the turn, everyone who has action points goes into Guard Stance, right? I think if you have Impenetrable Bastion, you have to manually click it every time. Like I said, it's not a bug. Just inconvenient. Because I'm lazy. Hey, look! Uh, I don't know why the way I am. I also didn't really mean to do that, but here we are. Sure. Oh, there. Okay, I did do it. Nice. I take it back. You hit really hard. My vampires almost died. Yeah. Okay. That's something to remember. The vampire is not quite as unkillable. Not quite as eternal. As uh, the one-man army. Good to know. Man, could you imagine if I got all this stuff before they nerfed Lifesteal? You know, back when Lifesteal, Life stole everything. That would have been great. Let's get an extra glitch slot, sure. Now, there's an argument to give Fire Wielder because he can also set people on fire. You know? But... Why do that? What is your fire your elemental resist? Minus 20. So you do set people on fire, right? Yeah, melee attacks can inflict burning. I wanted to give him a defensive thing, but I don't. Sure. There you go. Have some white resists. Now you aren't completely vulnerable. Only partially vulnerable. The tower can move. It sure can. It can move one tile. I don't think I want to move. Alright. Iria. Did your titan come this way? Iana's image appears before you. I see you show great Promise. It took some members of the Circle decades to come as far as you have with the Alvire. Truly a prodigy. Not everyone sees it that way. Some feel threatened by your ascent. I see no reason to fear you. Power never scared me. Quite the contrary, she says with a smile. Why are you implying? Typo. Begone, thought. She beams at you, eyes sparkling. Keep this up, and it's going to become very interesting around here. Some fresh blood can really liven things up. A new day dawns, bringing forth fresh challenges and dangers throughout the land. The Circle resents your growing power. Didn't she just say that she liked my growing power? Is that the only thing that's growing? <laughs> okay. Now, the tower came over here for one thing and one thing only, and that was, of course, the Shape of Ruin. Now that we have acquired what we were here for, it's time we leave. Throm. I'm just trying to think. So. Okay. Throm, get your ass back here. find it eventually. I might as well use his lodge to get some benefit from the Shaper thing. Since he's kind of lost in the mountains, you know? Kind of. And we're... We're not reliant, but I would like to have this research, you know? So go this way. Also in the tower, I forgot to mention this, I deleted the the troop quarter because we don't really need that. We, we don't need that. And so we're going to build, I could build another might amplifier, I didn't know that. But I don't know what you build here, and I'm going to build a crystalline garden to get more mana upkeep. Because as you can see, we're bleeding a little bit. And we need to go rectify that right yesterday. 
So, the first step to rectifying that is to go get my minor all fire back from a certain someone who robbed me of it. Well, to be fair, the person whose forces it belonged to is already dead. So it wasn't really him who robbed me of it, it was the AI. Oh, there's another Shaper secret here. I mean, I knew that. The magical thrum of this place has been reverberating throughout you for hours by the time you reach the ruins. It is as though it sits in the center of a vortex, only noticeable to the magically adept. You might worry about the strength of the power you feel if it weren't for the marvelous stonework. No one but the Shapers have ever been capable of such fashioning. The vast chamber buried underground holds a variety of vases and statues, all cut from the same stone and gleaming with magic. A shelf on one wall holds a few rows of books beckoning you to thumb through them, and your troops find tracks of dried mud leading underneath a closed, slender door. They must be fairly new, as some leaves stick to them too. Finally, right across the room from you, you see a large black door with statues on either side of it. Let's look at the books. Many of the books are written in a language you cannot hope to comprehend, but there are diagrams you can read. You learn a little of how the Shapers use local flora and fauna to their advantage. Sentences are short and the diagrams are clearly labeled. Was this a school, perhaps, to teach young Shapers all about the world? Fascinating. Let's look at the vases. Each vase, each statue, has tiny cracks that has been filled with pure magic. You can see it shifting and coursing through the stone, glowing with each touch. In one, you find a stone disc carved with glyphs beyond your understanding. Without really thinking, you put it in your pocket, your attention quickly and suddenly turning towards the black door. You should really look beyond it, sure. Beyond the door is a small room where magic tugs and probes at you with unseen tendrils. The Shapers were not just vastly superior in how they used magic. The ingenuity and inventions combined magic and modern constructs to produce wondrous weapons and mechanisms. Is this perhaps one of them? A quick look around reveals only a slot next to the door. Otherwise, the room is empty. Put the disc in. Another step into the room, pillars of light begin to search it. They drag past you and your troops, giving off low hums. It is obviously some kind of mechanism meant to keep strangers out. The ground shifts and pillars rise from the floor. They are shelved, stocked with a variety of well-preserved ingredients and wondrous items. The whole room must have been some kind of vault. <sighs> Great. Back in the main hall, you are greeted with fluttering wings and scraping claws. The slender door now stands open and beasts are fighting over something. As soon as you step into their field of view, they turn to face you. Your soldiers fight with fervor, eventually defeating their opponents. When the fight is settled, you look over the objects the creatures were fighting over when you first encountered them. Glass spheres of different colors lie across the ground. Some are cracked and empty, others hold something at their core. You pick one up and it liquefies in your hand, leaving a scroll behind. Yet another nature page. Game. I ain't about that nature life, you know? The only thing I want from nature is to turn it upside down. You find a local griffin trainer, possibly the last there is. Since griffins have become quite rare, you hope to buy mounts for your forces, but those you see are either hurt or at the brink of death. Large claw marks have ripped through the grounds of the entire pasture. A dwarf in the middle of looking after a young griffin looks up at your feet. No griffins left, I fear. The blasted wyvern made sure of that. Aye, and a mork from God knows where. Must have come over and tore right through my stock. I didn't even have time to call for help. His hand jerks to wipe his face, barely concealing his tears. If you feel like killing him, I might be swayed to give you my last remaining animal. You're so far away. I mean, I do feel like killing them, but you're so far away. Alright, Litra. Litra? Oh. Litra followed the tower. Of course she did. The Titan should be right behind me, I think. Now, as for you... Oh, you can't go this way. Swim. Nice! He can't go this way. Now, is this... 
Oh, it's just an all fire. Darn. Go away. Perfect. Get an aid on you as well. Place down your lodge right there. Fantastic. Do you see the train? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I told you it's coming. Slowly. I think it will attack those guys. Eh, not that I care. As for you. Our room just in our expeditions to mine ore. I'd really like to be best friends with you. Sure. Can we be best friends? Look, we'll buy this guy. We have more miners in our group. Yeah, perfect. Alrighty, you're building Mort, of course, Mort Mortanen. You arrived at one of the camps Torax Rider gave you the location of. We can take him. Really? Really? You're going to lose two of my units? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Unacceptable. I am being shot, and I don't like that, but that's okay. My friends, go. Prove to them the wonders of the world. The true power of the dark. <laughs> you just hang out. We might need to assist. Not because he can't take it. Don't get me wrong. He can take it. But because we're being shot. And if it shoots my backline a bit too many times. Ow. Well, if you wanted to fucking die, you just had to ask. He gets so sensitive about it. I'm just gonna hang out there. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh! I can't believe you lived at one. But it doesn't matter, because I have infinite retaliations. <laughs> that is so rude, bro. Unbelievably rude. You couldn't just wait your bloody turn, could you? Fine. There. Now who's dead? There we go. I solved the problem. Problem solved. I hope I still caught him. Not that it really matters, but I would like to have still caught him. You know? Go. You're doing great, guys. So proud of you. <laughs> uh, this haunted armor brings me immense joy. Yes, yeah, so we're. Remember when I said we're not going to be revered by seven cities? Yeah, the enemies lying dead before you. You know that Torak, Groon, and all the orcs of Orgash will be thankful for what you have achieved. They better be. I don't work for free. I work for spells, rooms, and mana. <laughs> That's what I charge for my, my service. Uh, we'll move here first. Get that. Go there. Everyone. Oops. Huddle. Team. Okay. Sure. I got staggered, but who cares? Hello! Really? I mean... It's less effective if you all come at me one at a time. But I'm not going to say no. Alright, well. 
He went after my Necromancer minion. I gave you a perfectly fine target, but no. Fine. I should have gone after him, but that's okay. You want to be this way? We can make it happen. Flee, you craven dog. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. They best be happy. All right, we have assisted. Immune to bleeding, willpower, or phalanx. Hmm, I guess we'll be immune to bleeding, sure. Rock and stone and all that. Assimilate or tendon? Do you already have assimilate? No. What soul did I use to make you? Nah, whatever, take it. Enslay? Oh, no, follower. <laughs> sure, you can be a follower. Grandfather Nurgle has blessed us. I don't remember if Iria's domain makes it so I don't heal. I think it does. So we'll just chill here for a second. Oh. <laughs> it makes such funny noises. Why? What possessed you to attack me? Oh, look, increased experience. Nice. While traveling Dracot's cold landscapes, you encounter a dwarven militia troop. Hold a moment, if you please. We're looking for a lost supply and delivery group. Have you encountered roughly ten dwarves with a wagon? Nope. The dwarf sighs, and the icicles in his hair and beard clink. They were supposed to bring supplies to our adamantium mines, but never made it. If you come across them, we'll reimburse you for bringing them home. Correct. Who's we? Which Dowie force is asking me? Because that changes my answer a little bit. Hello. Go away. That's the remnant of Hokan's forces, so we don't care. Let's get a new Wisp out. This won't help our economy tremendously, but it will assist a little bit, you know? No. Alright, where are you guys going now? That way, I guess. I really wish that I could just, like, murder this whole village. <laughs> Does that make me a bad guy? Just, like, go into the city and start a war. Kill them all. I wish I could do that. I feel like the game is too... Where? Where is that quest? I've lost it and my interest. Although I probably should get rid of that. Uh, one dimensional when it comes to cities. It's like befriend the cities or don't get their stuff, you know? I feel like there should be an option to murder the cities and get their stuff. Because I'd choose that every time. Wow, you're actually kind of scary. Fine. I'll fight this myself. Now remember. We have lots of Healy. And we are the aggressor, which means they might give me a turn to just, like, sit in the corner. And heal. I hope so. Because you better believe that's what I'm going to do. Okay. They're not. Well. Okay. I think it really matters. Heal you to full ish. Hello. Oh, they're getting frenzy. Hmm. Oh. 
I definitely thought you had the Curse of Nor, but you don't. Alright, that's fine. Yes, turn around. <laughs> okay, who needs heals now? Not really anyone. I mean, the Lich needs heals, but... I guess the, the Vampire could also use some. I kind of want to go in there and tie them up. Kind of? This is definitely not risky, right? No, not risky at all. Why would it be risky? It'll be fine. See? Fine. Ugh. Yeah. I was done moving anyway. We'd moved plenty. There we go. It was fine. Oh, speaking of healing like that. In... So, Age of Wonders 4 is a game I'm very excited about. We will be playing it a lot. I hope you are not... Ooh. Too surprised. And... They actually have a new mechanic in Age of Wonders. I guess take the health? Sure. Where... <laughs> Yes, I'll take teleport. Thank you very much. What a wonderful level 15 skill. Uh, a new mechanic where... Excuse me. Healing... Is like a temporary thing. So... How do I explain this? Most efficiently. I guess I start moving the tower. This direction. The way healing works is in order to prevent kind of what I've been doing, where I heal up my units in combat. And that translates to the world map, so that you can kind of keep going forever and ever, as long as you have a, you know, a decent source of healing. They've made it so that healing in combat is temporary healing. And doesn't translate to the strategic map, which I think is interesting. You better believe I'm going to solo this with the Haunted Armor. You can let me know if it gets boring, but I find it infinitely amusing. Like, this is no longer Mort's army, okay? This is the Haunted Armor's army. And he runs the show. Everyone else is just here for emotional support and Earth Armor. Please stay on the front line. I dare you. Okay, this is hurting a little bit. A tiny bit. A lot of bit. Oh. You thought you could keep me down. But you know what they say. You can't keep a good man down. Now. I should be fine. Remember though. It doesn't really matter because I defy death. If the Haunted Armor even falls. I don't think it will. You tried to run. I knew you would. We could pop this. But I feel like it's better for me just to do damage. And heal. What does Frostbite even do? Let's find out. Frostbite reduces armor. Oh, okay. Now, turning is bad. Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Iria, I applaud you. You have caused the most damage the Haunted Armor has ever taken. You've done well. You've done well. But it wasn't good enough. Flee, you craven dog. 
I'll take the attack opportunity. Tell me I won't. And just like that, we're back to healing. Okay. How dare you turn your back to the haunted armor? <sighs> well done. Well done. That was amazing. Now, of course, if I'd gone into this with, you know, a bunch of Medusae, that could have been a very different story. But, it worked out. You guys leveled up as well. Sure, you can have some hit points. There you go. You know what? We'll do this too. Just to prove I can. You know why I can do this fight, though? Because the Griffin is a mortal unit. That's right. Which means I life steal. Where's Mort? Hey. The eternal question. All right. Everyone get in position. This is called the emotional support position. Where we can pounce if we need to. But I don't think we will. We may take a lot of damage. You're not going to be this dumb, are you? No way. There's the root. Okay. The A was not entirely stupid. But I still have Cleanse Ally. Go right here. Hit everybody. And chill. I'm on a rock. I'm on a boat. Where did that come from in the memories? The memory bank. Wow. They are tearing the haunted armor apart. Look at them. They're using strategy. Oh, and the main source of their damage is gone. Okay. GG. Yes. Good. Good. Ow. You hurt a lot. All right. Will he die? I don't think so. I think the Haunted Armor will live. Because all the white damage is gone. Attack me. Yes. Good. Good. You, you had me scared for a moment there. We got down to like, what, 30 hit points? Almost. Almost. Lived at one. That's okay. I'll get an extra swing in. <laughs> I like how there's nothing really exciting going on, so I have made excitement by pushing the haunted armor to its utmost. Greater arcane soul. Great. Sure. I suppose the next step is to put fear in this army, right? Which, I mean, if the haunted armor doesn't strike fear into your heart and soul, are you really even paying attention? I have a feeling I might need to make this guy fly. What kind of dwarf doesn't start with Mountaineer? <sighs> Your ancestors are disappointed. Alright, Litra is on the watch for the Titan. You guys... I don't know, I guess you're hanging out. I knew it was strange that there wasn't any sort of tower. I'm just going to get rid of you too. Go away. Great. You're going to contest my greater all fire, aren't you? I need that. Look, I'm bleeding money. Where did you come from? Nice. Well done. Good. We did that for the research. All right. Where'd the Titan go? Hello? Um, game? I wanted to have a nice climactic fight with a titan. Where is it? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it went. 
Alright, we also need mana. But you know what we can do to get mana, right? Take my massive gold and just transmute it. GG. Alright, just keep marching. It's fine. This is why this whole army has flight. Although... Probably gonna chill there. Don't wanna go too crazy. He says after he's gone too crazy. Um... Did the Titan just evaporate from the face of the planet? Where did it go? Throm, of course, has the wind walking thingy, so he can just, you know, whatever. Waddle about. And we're in the, the healing radius of the tower, so we should be all fine. Yes, Undead Officer, thank you. I love Undead Officer. 10 out of 10. Highly recommends. The massive gate towers high above you. A stone carved dwarf stares blankly into the mountains, while very lively ones watch the neighboring lands of the high mark. There is a loud, rumbling roar as the gate opens for you. The guards beckon for you to pass through quickly. Really? That was it? Why? What was the purpose of that? Um, let's go to armor. Sure. Our dread knights. Death knights. Same thing, basically. Can you move any further, tower? You can. Great. Hmm. Alright, we'll wait. I like how the tower is just kind of zigzag sweeping its way through the through the mountains. What about you now? What do you do, my friend? Are these both a wind home? I think they are. Huh, I could double dip on the end thing. Mort's nearby. Hello? Oh, we're going to lose our Plague Bearer team. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've done in a while. You know something? It kind of bugs me. We defeated Hokan, right? Hokan's gone. Dead. Deleted. But Hokan had... An eight stack. He could have eight units in a single stack. Iria has only ever had six. So, my question is Is Iria really just weak? Like, is she set to be the weaker opponent? Or is there something I'm missing? Will she get stronger if I permit her to live and stop harassing her? I mean, I'm probably not going to stop harassing her, let's be honest. This is my new favorite pastime. Also, you should not have stepped out like that. Oh, you're going to shoot me. My backline. Nope. Never mind. All these bloody ranged units. Go away. Go away. I know what I said about this being the Haunted Armor show, but I got stuff to do. People to kill. Eye doctors to go see. <laughs> that was the hint that the episode's ending soon. <laughs> really? There we go. GG. So let's not fiddle around too much longer, eh? I have like 10 minutes. It's fine. We can get we can get a lot done in 10 minutes. We can fight the Titan in 10 minutes if it shows up. Look, ingredients. Have I cleared all of Iria's stuff? Not gonna lie, that's kind of my goal. 
Would you look at that? Defy death. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately, you're already undying, so just get serrated blades. Battle cry. Look at that. He's useful. Our little child of Nurgle, who has no combat prowess, can now buff my team. I'm proud of you. Where are you going? Whatever. Uh, Litra, where is it? Where's the Titan? Where did it go? Hmm. Keep your eyes peeled, Litra. Oh. Huh? I mean, yeah, do that. Stand on the pile of research. Don't don't interrupt my all fire flow. Just stand on the pile of research. It's fine. All right. If I were iron or any sort of mountain ore, where would I be? Hi. You want to go? Part two. Iria, have you not learned your lesson? I also don't know where I'm going with more. I think there's like an academy down here or something. Not an academy. Um, Meldrick Castle. And I'm kind of wandering in that direction. Hmm. Mostly because it's something to do. Hello! Alright, well. You guys know the drill. More damage equals more healing. You know? Alright. Yes. You will all wish to fight me, and you will all perish. Oh no! Ow. Rude. Bibbidi bobbidi. Get off my property. Good. Good, Anakin. Uh, this is fun. It's interesting in 4X strategy games how, like sometimes, like in Total War, I love the beginning of a campaign. The beginning where every single hit point is so incredibly vital, and you're finding the cheekiest, cutest ways to survive and screw over your opponent. I think those are interesting and fascinating and fun to play through. But at the same time, on the flip side, when you're at this point where you can just control a right click and your army just mows everything over, there's a sort of sick satisfaction in that as well. You know? You know? I probably shouldn't do it again, but I think I will. What do we got? Oh, nice. A fat heal. Just what I needed. What's that? Undead. I can't heal off the undead, but I can kill the undead. And they're already wounded, so even better. Have I cast eight on this army? I have. Okay, great. Well, would you look at that? Undead officer on the plague bearers. Yes. Yes, I will. Now my my flying, unkillable, infinite retaliation haunted armor is even... Where did the fucking titan go? Where did it go? I was going to intercept it and kill it, and it's just gone. That was not worth it, whatever it was. After a long day's walk, you find a ruin where you can rest for the night. It is partially covered by loose rocks, but otherwise seems sheltered from the elements. Upon entering, you find a fire already burning, a dwarf stirring a pot. He looks at you, then at the pot, and finally at a stuffed toy animal sat on the floor next to him. I didn't know you invited guests, Rupee. I don't think I cooked enough for all of you, but I'm willing to share a meal. He waves you over with an apologetic grin. His gaze never meets you directly. He seems to stare at a point right above your head with unblinking eyes. I have a fin on beer. You can have it. He takes the offered drink and hands out bowls to everyone. 
What a wonderful trade. This is fine stuff. It reminds me of the bottle my brothers brought me from the cave not far from here, but this is even better. He soon falls asleep. Bottle and stuffed animal hug tightly to his body. Blood for the blood god. You quickly free the dwarf of his head, then ruffle through his belongings. Not much to be had, but it will bring some comfort to your travels. <laughs> Yes. The cave entrance is hidden very well. If the dwarf had not told you about it, it would have been easily missed. Inside, there are mining carts and equipment around a large vein of gold. Some of it has already been loaded into crates and can be taken care of easily. It seems the dwarf that offered you stew wasn't mad, but merely strange. Soon another crate has been emptied of gold. You are unloading another crate when a shout rings out. Who are you? Who the bloody hell are you? Hands off. Okay. Now, are you guys going to act like the aggressors? Yes. Or am I going to be the aggressor still? Because I'll take this moment to heal. Don't mind me. I'll do it. It looks like they're the aggressor. Okay. Yes. I didn't turn him enough. My bad. Hello. Hello. Can you attack me when I'm out here? I don't think you can. Yes. But I'm fairly certain you cannot. There you go. You were supposed to attack your new friends. Your demonic friends. Well, whatever. Some people learn their lessons the hard way, you see. Heal Jonath. I guess I could kill that. Yes. But why would I? Let's go heal my lich friend. There we go. Ow. Rude. Anyone else need healing? Oh. You do. Yes. Pretty bad. Alright. GG. Stein never expands Jonath's army. It kind of just feels like Look at that. Wait a minute. Do I have two glyphs called Vampire? As you fight, you see a dwarf flee and disappear for help. Did that give me a quest? Are you serious? <sighs> Wraith is displeased. Oh. I'll show you displeased, Wraith. Let's go. Get out of my land. I should have moved into my territory. Let me check real quick. Crater Glyph Shields. Despair. Oh, it makes me enslaved. No, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. This unit every ally in the stack gains ignores the movement penalty of force. So I have Greater Glyph Vampire, and what does Litra have? Corrupted Glyph Vampire, I see. Well, if life stealing works out so well for the Haunted Armor, or for Mord's Haunted Armor, it should work out well for everybody, right? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just autoing my way through life. Yeah, more elemental resistance. What harm could that do? Uh, Frenzy. Yes, please. Thank you. In fact, since you got Frenzy... Oh, you're the Death Defiance. Hmm. I was hoping you were a pure Rage Soul. Yeah. 
I'll take a free attack. That seems good. Health. Equality and death. Exchange all positive status effects with bleeding on an enemy in four range. Huh. So if they have any positive effect, I make them bleed. That could actually be very strong. I'm assuming Iana and Iria have all sorts of buffs, because let's be honest, they seem like the buffing type. Great. Damage. Focus. Great. I don't know where the Titan went, team. I'm sorry. I thought it would just follow me. While traveling the Windwall Mountains, you find a weathered, inscribed stone. The granite dwarves are hereby exiled for crimes against the dwarven race and cruelty against others on a large scale. They may never return to this realm and are refused help and kindness. May Nitolf show their barbarous souls no mercy. How many of them have we killed again? Quite a few, right? I have no idea where the Titan went. Not even a little bit of an idea. Alright. Well. Just keep moving. Maybe we'll find it. More accurately, maybe it will find us. There it is. Alright, let's end this with a bang. Oh look, the Might Amplifier has been constructed. I wanted to kill the Titan right away. But here we are. Research per day, mana per day, all fire per day. Depletable locations within your domain last three days longer. All apprentice units gain focused. Oh. Oh. That's probably that, isn't it? This gives all elemental damage types to me, and the Apprentice will gain two focus at the start of the turn. That's good. The problem is I don't know if I can make this. I need three arcane and six elemental. Oh, that's, that's not, that, that's not, hmm. That's pretty fucked. There we go. Nope. Huh. I need three arcane, one elemental. I don't think I have that. Besides this one. This is my only one. Well, that blows. Alright. I'll play around with that. We'll see what we can make. We're going to finish today. I could just start next episode with Litra fighting the Titan. I am kind of running out of time. No, 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 no. Let's go. The climax of the episode, right at the very end. Let's get her done. Now, this is Eria's Titan, the Trent. The Elven Titan from Spellforce 3. We saw it, of course, at the beginning of the episode, and then it disappeared for some reason. It is guarded by four griffins and this lady. The Tiara's Priestess. The Titan itself, this one has a lot less hit points. It is weak to what? Elemental. And that's it. It was weak to death in my domain, that's right. Okay. Now, ironically... <laughs> yeah, and it's a moment of tremendous irony. This haunted armor is incredibly useless. Hmm. Why are you resistant against death? Ah. Huh. Okay. Three tiles. Go here. Go there. Or should we put him in guard mode? I'm being very aggressive. 
battle cry, sure. Yeah, you do no damage, Mr. Haunted Armor. I should take it off your little glyphy thingy. Also need to do a, a curse. Can't get a good one, but we can get one. We'll get the Haunted Armor to go fight that guy. Go here. Actually, hold on. There we go. White damage not useful. Change the damage type. GG. Alright. Now I am kind of expecting my Blood Golem to explode. That would be funny. Okay, he has Leech Life. That's good. He is also dying swiftly. Uh, we could... We could poison, but I think we just kill. Just murder. And to assist in the murdering. He does have Nature's Vengeance, which we do need to be conscientious of. Uh, you can't do anything. You don't have an FAB. Okay. Do we go for a fat reanimation here? I need to kind of maneuver. I think we do. Let's go. Unlimited power. And then we'll get some hits off that guy so he can't do many actions. Nice. Oh. Oh. He just brought him back. Okay. That's fine. That's why we have all these undead. Let's go, Lich. Oh. Okay. GG. We did it, team. A little messy, but we got it done. It doesn't really matter if it was messy. Let's be honest. All that matters is the dub. And the dub we have acquired. My Reaper can't get in. Alright, Litra. Oh! It died. I think it got poisoned. How I poisoned a tree is a little bit beyond me, but that's okay. The second titan of the game has been felled. That still only counts as one! Beautiful. Marvelous. We even made a new friend. Two damage when uh, retaliating or throw sand. Well, I'll take the counterattack, sure. Don't mind if I do. You almost died. You almost died. All right. With that climactic conclusion, we'll start next time in an already begun turn. Searching ever onward for Wraith the Black to put an end to him. We're almost level 15 on Jonath, my first apprentice. You have done well. But thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the quest. Marches ever onward. Didn't make much grimoire progress today, but I think, I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close close. I can feel it in my bones. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to see me happy channel, feel free to join the Discord in the description down below. And I'll see you next time as the hunt for Wraith the Black escalates ever further. Bye!